This is a Baby Jogger City Mini 4W or 4 wheel and today we're going to show you how to fix the brake system on the backside. Uh, this is the same brake system that you find on a lot of older model Baby Joggers and you still find on the uh, regular City Mini. Um, this is that is that is the foot brake as opposed to the brake uh, with the cable that is operated up by the handle. So if you're having trouble with this brake system that either it uh, won't release uh, or that when you apply it, it pops off the brake or it won't brake on one wheel, um, then we're going to show you a variety of things you can do to fix this. Um, the first and most common issue that occurs is simply that because people don't lubricate here and here uh, and take care of the, uh, the brake bar, it develops a lot of rust. And if the rust gets really thick, uh, it can prevent the bar from sliding down through these channels here here by the wheel and on the opposing side. Uh, if this is the case, you need to sand down and um, eventually use perhaps some sort of like a rust eater type product in order to remove that buildup of rust that's presenting, preventing it from going through the channel. Um, it's also a good idea to use some sort of a spray grease. I just have a generic spray grease here, uh, but something like WD-40, that should just be a natural part of maintenance for your stroller. You just wanna spray it into those channels There it goes, and allow it to run down. On this one, there is some rust, and I will be using some rust eater later and some sanding in order to remove it. Now, uh, if your problem has more to do with the fact that the brakes do not stay applied but pop up, uh, it's possible that uh, some damage has occurred to the inside of the pedal here. And um, I'm gonna look very closely. You'll see that there's a little indentation here on either side of the pedal. And what can happen is that if it's hard for that brake bar to move uh, because of rust or grit or something that builds up, um, the end of the brake bar can wear down the plastic uh, right around this indentation. So the idea is that when it's in the locked position, those ends of the bar fit right into that indentation and that indentation holds it in place until you pop back up the pedal to release it. But if the uh, edges of this indentation have worn down, then you're gonna need to make that indentation stronger again. And the way I do this is using a Dremel. And you want like a very small rounded head. And you can just carefully round out that indentation such that there's a decent lip again for the head of the brake system to sit in. You're essentially just turning this again into a fully circular valley, I suppose, um, with enough, enough depth that the end of the bar can't just pop out uh, and slide as well. Um, so that's how you would repair this pedal if you're having trouble with the uh, brakes staying applied. Uh, and otherwise, it's really a matter of uh, keeping the brake bars rust free and keeping some sort of lubrication here into these areas. Uh, where the bar slides through. Uh, I haven't actually seen problems related to the uh, inside back of the wheel where you have um, the holes where the brake bar sits in on the wheel itself, uh, but I suppose of course this could loosen and uh, this part could be replaced uh, by unscrewing these elements here. And we have other videos that show you how to take apart uh, this sort of wheel. Uh, so we hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.